right, tumbleweeds. I'm coming to you from Snowflake at the alpaca farm. And that was a post that I was pointing at in the last video. There was no alpaca there. <laughs> I need to get some new glasses or I need to wear my glasses. Anyway, I wanted to show you the little area that Bob has graded out for a tiny house. Uh, I'm still not sure if I am going to build a tiny house here. Uh, I'm not even sure if I can afford to build a tiny house here. But it would be nice to have a place to come, you know, hang out <coughs> yeah, when it's too hot to be in the van or too cold to be in the van. So, really... The only times I can come here that's comfortable in the van is in the spring and in the fall. So I'm going to turn it around here and show you the place. He really liked this um, dead juniper tree, <laughs> so he loved it. But as you can see, there is a great view. I think that mountain way back there try and zoom in on it. Uh, I think that's a ski resort back there. I'm not real sure what ski resort it is, but I'm pretty sure Bob told me there was a ski resort back over there. Anyway, it's really pretty back in here. Oops, went a little too far. So, I've been looking at uh, at Lowe's at um, Sheds that they sell there and they have one that's a 12 by no, 10 by 12 12 by 60 I don't even know how big it is but um, he's graded all this out because uh, I think there needs to be a septic tank somewhere and I, I thought he said on this side but I don't know where to put a septic tank. But it's very pretty here. And you can see my van right over there. So this area, it's all cleared out over there, is where his harvest house guests park. So they can see the alpacas. So I would have a little bit of privacy back here. I think a destination trailer would be really good. But that's like fifty thousand dollars there, so I doubt <laughs> I doubt we'll be doing that. So anyway, um, <clears throat> nothing's gonna happen until spring anyway, so I have plenty of time to figure out what I can afford and if I can afford it. And I just love these juniper trees. So picture a little tiny house there. I guess that uh, will be our yard sculpture. Maybe that'll be the Christmas tree. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think about this idea of a tiny house. It'd be kind of a <coughs> build-as-you-go kind of thing. Cheap. On the cheap. And it wouldn't really be off-grid because he can hook it up to electricity and water and is, of course he's going to put in a septic tank so anyway I just wanted to show you I'm kind of excited about it but also a little scared because I don't really want to spend money on a sticks and bricks but if it's a tiny house that's kind of different in my opinion <laughs> anyway <laughs> okay so there you go it is, uh, it's been cold here the last three days. It's 60 degrees, it was 61 today. And uh, <clears throat> the day before that, it was like in the 50s. And the day before that, it was like really in the 60s too. And it rained two days in a row. And my solar panels got all wet and uh, they're not supposed to get wet and they got mud all over them let me show you 
See all the dirty dirt smears? I tried to get get them clean today. I'm gonna have to wash them again. But they seem to be working okay. I don't I don't think they're working full power, so I really do need to clean them. So Bob's over there feeding the alpacas. And that's his little dog, Dakota, standing next to the truck way back there. Hi, Dakota! Hi, Dakota! She gets very excited. So anyway, it's uh, kind of cold. It might not even be 60 now. So I bought a new blanket for my bed because I got kind of cold last night. So let's go say hi to Piglet. How does it move? How does it feel? We got room for activities on the Say hi to like the tumbleweeds. Say hi, tumbleweeds. Hi, tumbleweeds. Okay, we'll, we'll catch you a little bit later. I just wanted to show you the property. And Piglet. Oh my god, this campsite is a mess. That windstorm and rain just made everything a big yucky dirt pit mess. dump this off. Thing. <laughs> this thing keeps blowing away, but I never seem to lose it. Okay. Oh. Oh, maybe I should go this way. Stinks under here. Ah, gross. Oh, that's just mud. It's disgusting. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to wash this off with the hose to get it completely clean. But... Or could do like Bob does whenever when something of his gets dirty, like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. He just goes and buys a new one instead of washing it. <laughs> Sorry, Bob, I told your secret. Oh, that's just mud. I 
but it'll dry out sooner or later. Okay, I think I'm going to have to put stakes down. I'm going to have to put stakes down to keep the rug from blowing away in case we get another windstorm like that. Oh, time to get the stakes out. Stakes are gonna work. We'll see how it goes. I've smashed my fingers too many times to take a chance. Uh-oh. The ground was soft at the top, but now it's getting hard. I might not be able to get this in the ground. the other kind. Be right back. Oh. It bent. <laughs> okay, those are worthless. Worthless, worthless, worthless. This may never come out of the ground again. I think I hit a rock. Whew. I got one more over here.
So these over here I have to get all the way into the ground because I might run over them with the van when I come and go to do water fill-ups and grocery store shopping and great tank dumping. Ooh, the ground's really soft on this side. Success! I did it! Yay! Why does everything get so dirty so quick when it rains? I don't think this thing works anymore. Oh, were they not supposed to be left out in the rain? I guess not. <laughs> and one last thing to do is put the jack on the yucca. <coughs> you hear the uh, alpacas? Somebody's causing a commotion over there. <coughs> I'll have to tighten that too much. Okay, we're all done. Let's see. Uh, all we need to do is set our chairs up. And our table. Good morning, Piglet. I saw you watching me go through all that trouble putting those stakes in the rug and sweeping off everything, and you didn't even come outside to help me. Thank you very much, little lazy butt. 